He's just looking at it kind of this seems like a visual representation of two of my personalities the the flying one and then the dipping one good afternoon everybody today is a monday but a different kind of monday it's a holiday here in istanbul so the city is semi silent and semi empty and surprisingly this year uh, not all my friends are elsewhere. Some of them are here in Istanbul, so that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go meet with a couple of my friends and enjoy the emptiness of Istanbul. I know it sounds kind of weird, but really it just has a completely different vibe, especially a city as chaotic and as crowded as Istanbul. Whenever you can catch a time when it's quiet and kind of empty so it's kind of fun so if you are here during ramadan or Qurban, you might actually enjoy the emptiness of istanbul especially the lack of traffic is amazing so let's go realize this lady and that lady over there both have covered faces and this is a mystery to me why am i choosing faces that are covered hello lovely people today is Tuesday, I think. The weather is so good outside that I decided that today was a perfect day to go and check out one of the stores that I visited with our interns uh, a couple of weeks ago and to check if our products have been placed and if the placement is nice just as we wanted it. There is one uh, that is not that far from me and yeah, let's go. to me but put me in a room full of furniture to sit on and i will always and i mean always choose to sit on the floor i don't know why i mean it's just like some sort of a habit that i have since childhood it just seems so much more comfortable to sit on the floor anyway today is the last day of the holiday week and i decided to go see a movie my sister ty suggested to go see inside out 2. i remember watching the first one and she said that the second one is even better. I texted my friend Maltem and because she's the one that always wants to improve her English. And I thought that this is actually how I learned English uh, many, many years ago. I was watching undubbed movies only with subtitles. I found a theater nearby that shows it but, and they have it both in Turkish and in English. So I thought that would be a perfect way for her to practice but she was not in the mood so, so i'm gonna go alone and i just check the um, how many seats are available for the the time that i'm gonna go see the inside out and it's pretty empty because it's in english but anyway that's the plan for today hopefully the movie is gonna be good all right let's go see it fact about turkey during holidays is that all public transportation is free if you have a personalized 
a metro card like with an attached phone number and your name you can travel on pretty much anything that accepts the card during holidays you can do it for free Hello you guys, I am back from movies and gotta say I really liked Inside Out 2. It's definitely different from all the animated films and cartoons that we watched as millennials way back when. Uh, in a way that it tackles subjects that are deeper than just fairy tales and it's about your personality, your identity, your build from so many more than just happy memories. I really like that part where um joy realized that the way she was kind of hiding away the not so pleasant memories is taking away from the way how unique the personality of a person could be because that's how we are we're built from all of our experiences not just the good but the the sad and the complex and hard it's all of those experiences are making us uniquely who we are and interestingly there was this one part where anxiety is out of control and i don't know why i got really emotional looking at it because for the first time you kind of look at that emotion because anybody who's been through anxiety they kind of know that it's really hard to get control over your senses when you are in that state of anxiety and just to see that you know it was out of its own control that it was just trying to make it better that it's it's not out to get you it's just a complexity of all those emotions trying to get you to a better place but sometimes it ends up just turning into anxiety it provokes a lot of thinking a lot of internal conversations internal <clears throat> checks definitely a lot more interesting in a way that you know kids are different and some of them like fairy tales and adventurous stories some of them like deeper things and have those questions from early on so i guess i like the way disney is kind of following that trajectory and that kind of direction in their movies thank you taya it was a wonderful way to end a holiday <laughs> Hello you guys, I just came back from a doctor's appointment and unfortunately my little brace is gonna stay on for two more weeks. My ankle is not fully healed yet, which is fine, it just means that my body needs a little more time to heal and that is absolutely fine with me. I'm still thinking about Inside Out and all the little details they have hidden um, in every dialogue in the film. Like there is this one part at the very beginning where uh, Joy is going to plant one of the core memories and she takes sadness with her. As sadness is very, um, for some reason, afraid to go to the core memory land. And Joy tells her, wherever you go, I go and it's just so clever because every sadness is followed by joy uh, sometimes uh, vice versa as well but it's like just a cycle of life and it's just so clever how they tied it in together like this also have you noticed that sadness and joy kind of look alike their hair is the same and their eyes not the shape but the eye color is the same they kind of look like sisters um, I don't know if they addressed it in the first film, but it kind of looks like they are. And if you think about it, sadness and joy could be sisters. Because essentially, they're just the opposites of each other, right? Anyway, I think I'm already overthinking it. When I find too many fascinating details in something, I tend to go... Um, too deep sometimes so anyway 
if you haven't seen it go see it because it's so good on so many levels um definitely take your kids uh to see it because it's an important seed to plant at a very young age about many emotions and uh, how the personality is built you know actually as i was watching it uh, i was thinking about you know with my fascination um with psychology and mental disorders i was thinking could they add depression to it that would not be for kids for sure but i thought that would be a good way to explain what some of those mental disorders are because there's still people on this planet with this much information available that don't really understand what those disorders are and how to be around people with those disorders unfortunately people don't want to understand because information is out there it's all out there it's just absence of willingness to understand that's what's also there anyway that's too deep by the fact that it's today is the first working day i'm already ready for the weekend because it's summer you know and by default this is my core memory in summer you're supposed to have fun go to the beach have ice cream not be stuck in the office <laughs> I'm in love, the chance I'm in love